The following podcast contains language that may not be appropriate for all listeners. Discretion is advised. This is common. Stay up to ear hustle. Peace. So how long have you been playing the sax? Right now, about two months, about two months. But before I actually played, when I was 14 years old, I was the lead saxophonist for the school that I was you know, attending at the time. So what happened between 14 and now? You didn't play sax during that whole time? Uh, actually, I was at you know, some of the prisons down south that didn't have a, a music program, level four prisons, to Hatchby, High Desert. So I didn't get to practice music. So you were in jail since you were 14? Yes. Wow. How many years is that since you played the sack? 18. You know, I can't get out right now, but I'm slowly, you know, remembering a few of the keys. And when I have the saxophone in my hand, I'm blowing it. You know, I'm creating music. I don't know how to really explain it, but, you know, it makes me feel, you know, comfortable where I can just let go. You are now tuned in to San Quentin's Ear Hustle from PRX's Radiotopia. I am Rasan New York Thomas, a resident of San Quentin State Prison in California, serving a life sentence. And I'm Nigel Poor. I've been working with the guys at San Quentin for about eight years now. And together, we're going to take you inside and back outside, and this time to a very surprising place. On this episode, we have a special treat. We're putting the music center stage and we saved you a front row seat. Today is all about the musicians of San Quentin and their songs, from the yard to the tier and beyond. And at the end of the episode, you're gonna hear about a super groovy ear hustle opportunity. That's designed for those who are musically inclined. So music is an important part of everything we do at Your Hustle. Absolutely. Basically, the sounds of San Quentin are always a character in our stories, and that comes from the music made down here in the Media Lab. There's sound collages we make from recordings we take from all over the prison. And from time to time, we even play full songs performed inside. And today, we're not holding back. Oh, no, we are not. You're going to hear songs from start to finish and the stories behind them. So let's start with the basics. I see a fair amount of instruments at San Quentin, like guitars, saxophones, and stuff like that. And I assume you can order them, but honestly, I don't really know. So you can get access to all kinds of musical equipment in two different ways. Mm -hmm. First, you can join a music program. Right. They have piano classes, there's a choir, there's live bands, they have drums, there's guitar. There's a lot of options. A lot of options. But as far as what we can personally own, it's limited. So where do you actually get the instruments? We purchase them. We order them. Mm. The same package companies that sell us the food and the MP3 players and the uh, hygiene. Mm-hmm. In the back, they have a guitar, a ukulele, and a harmonica for okay. sale. Okay. All right. That makes sense because I've heard all of those instruments in here. So guys can order instruments and have them in their cells. Or if you're part of the music program, you can get access to more stuff like that saxophone we heard at the top of the show. But if you can't afford an instrument and you're not part of the music program, you can always put it down like they did in the Boogie Down Bronx back in the days. This 
is Matthew Brown the third. But we call him Redbone. My boy Redbone is a mouth music maestro. Let's see how I got a garbage. I mean, he is loud. He be turned mm, up. You hear him all over the prison. I know. I heard when he was recording down here, people next God, door were like, what? Like, My auntie in Queens heard him not. <laughs> Lucky her. <laughs> I, got, I got a nice little arsenal up in there, man. You know what I mean? Totally. I got a little arsenal up in there, you know? So Redbone uses music to tell stories about his past. Music is most definitely a memory activator. And for Redbone, one of the things he misses is his bike. This is his song, Two Wheels. Two wheels. Two rolling wheels. That's how you feel. Red bone chill. Got an idea. Cadillac grills. You know the deal. Two rolling wheels. My young riders. OG sliders, popping the collar, dripping like water. I thought I told you, bicycle soldier, there is no other red bone lover. Two wheels, two rolling wheels, two wheels. Two rolling wheels. I can do the same thing rolling on two wheels. Two feet, ten toes, smashing up hills. I don't really care, and who cares how you feel? Red moon chilling, baby. You know the deal. I carry loads from a bike to a couch. Boxes and backpacks. Reputation got clout. You know my name. Build a bike from a frame. Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Two wheels, two rolling wheels. Two wheels, two rolling wheels. I can do the same thing rolling on two wheels. Two feet, ten toes, smashing up hills. I don't really care, and who cares how you feel? Red bone chilling, baby. You know the deal. You know the deal. Ladies know the deal. You know the deal. Red bone chilling, baby. You know the deal. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> That's like one of my favorite songs, man, because I, I did actually everything. I would ride around, ghost ride a bike with one hand. I'd be riding on one bike, and i have another bike with the frame and the tires tied to my backpack. You know what I mean? I carry heavy loads. You know what I'm saying? Tools. Uh, food, clothes, supplies, just riding around in the streets of Riverside, just doing my thing, two wheels. You know, just my life. Man, I cannot get enough of him. Every time I hear him, I smile. He just makes me really happy. And he's not kidding about his love for his bike. But he told us before he was incarcerated, he'd be riding around his hometown, just helping people in the streets that he knew. You know, I was riding around at night because I was out doing my night thing, riding around. My boy, Tennessee, a friend of mine who slept on the streets, he's sleeping on the ground. I was like, man, what you doing out here on the ground? Uh, five blocks ago, I seen, I seen a couch just sitting out there, you know, something somebody put out there. Then, you know, I took the cushions out, shook it around a little bit, slammed it around, took the cuckoo bugs out of it. I stood it straight up. You know, I found the center of gravity. I picked it up. I threw it over my shoulder and dropped on the beach cruiser and just smashed out. Brought it to him. Told Tennessee, get up. Body slammed the couch on the ground. Get up. You know what I'm saying? I'll be back to bring you the cushions. He was like, man, Hercules, Hercules. Are you serious? You know, that was the first couch. The second couch, was it was the couch that had... Yo, two wheels. Check one. New York. When was the last time you rode a bike? Ah, uh, nah, it's just been decades. Oh. Uh, sadly, there are no wheels, no rolling wheels at San Quentin. Mm-mm. So no bikes here at San Quentin. No curbs to hop, no corner stores to zip by, and no trash treasures to be found. Yeah, we lose a lot when we come to prison. The list is long. And one of those things 
is our jobs. And there are a lot of guys here at San Quentin who had established music careers on the outside. Oh, yeah, there's quite a few. Like Jeff Atkins, who was in that group. Club Nouveau. Yep, that's right. And he was in the first episode of season four. There's also the guy that wrote for the Shy Lights. Yep, I've heard of him. Then there's my boy Rated R from Tupac's group, Thug Life. Mm -hmm. But you know there's one resident here of particular significance to Ear Hustle. Yes. The Grammy-nominated rapper and producer from Stockholm, Sweden, David David Jassy. Jassy is a big part of our sound design team, and his music is in most of our episodes. He got beats. Jossie's a busy guy. He's in college, he's in different groups, and he's also part of the San Quentin Music Program. And one of the things he loves doing is collaborating with the young guys here at San Quentin. We call them YOPs. Again, everything in prison is an acronym, and YOP stands for Youth Offender Program. Basically, if you're under the age of 23 and you're convicted of a serious crime in California, you are considered a youth offender. If you are eligible for the program, it gives youth offenders the chance to come to a lower level yard, like San Quentin. Instead of starting their time at a maximum security prison, like a level four. A few years back, a lot of YOPs came to San Quentin. And here, there's a lot of groups and educational programming. But Jossie noticed something about these new youngsters on the yard. A lot of these guys didn't go to, to the programs. They, you know, they went to certain groups, but they felt like they didn't really belong there because a lot of the guys in those programs were, you know, 40, 50, 60 years old. So they kind of felt outside. And I felt like, how can I contribute to the community in San Quentin? And I really felt like I know the power of storytelling through music can reach younger demographics in a way that a regular group can't do. So Jossie decided to connect with the YOPs and offer them support through music. And it all began on the tier in West Block. In the beginning, you know, we were basically just meeting by my cell. And I had my keyboard and, and guys were just outside my cell and we just started writing and wrote some of the songs. Sometime after, Jossie brought these sessions down to the Media Lab, where he's been recording through the San Quentin Music Program, Right next door. Right next door. <laughs> we hear him all the time. Oh, yeah. Zipping the same as zipper, boopa, papa, dipper, thing, and rapping. Okay, we get the point. <laughs> they are sometimes loud. But they sound good, though. We're going to hear a song Jossie made with a YOP who goes by the name De Niro G. But first, let's get the backstory. De Niro G, um, who is featured on this song, was 19 when he came to San Quentin. And, and, he, and he just told me the story about how his how his grandfather was in prison while his mom was pregnant with him, you know, and she was only 13 years old. So we just started talking about the whole thing and just how crazy that was. And so basically he's talking about the generational trauma that happened and how, how now he kind of want to stop that cycle. She prayed, prayed for a better life for me, me. She got kicked out, I was on the way She was only 13, 10 And her father in prison, prison, prison. Who gon' help when we hungry, hungry, hungry So my father quit school, school, school Used to grind for the money, money, money Nine to five to work all the time So I spend my days with my grandmother Couple years later, now she ain't alive Couldn't say goodbye, couldn't say I love her, love her. After that, see my friend die I was 14, couldn't believe my eyes So every day I didn't want to I didn't want no help, I didn't want to give uh-huh. All I saw was seeing, that's all I ever got So I shed the tears when I talk to God Cause Do he hear me talk? Do he hear me when I pray? No, I got bad days But till then it ain't the same thing Do he hear me talk? Do he hear me when I pray? pray? It ain't 
been the same family Say I changed that I act different All I felt was hate so I never listened, listened. Hitting the times my crime was brainwashed By the street, street The devil had me blind I couldn't see, I couldn't think, think. My principal used to pick on me And put me out of line to see I couldn't eat he Treated me like I did something Then told me I would be nothing So many hard times So many bad decisions I know the fault is mine but Lord, I ain't a menace So many hard times So many bad decisions I know the fault is mine But Lord, I ain't a menace It will never, never be the same It will never, never be the same Nige, what he's talking about in that song is deep. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's talking about having incarcerated family members, being raised by a single teenage mom, yep. getting into crime at a young age. Unfortunately, those situations are things that I've heard from tons of guys in here. Yeah, I'm sure you have, because a lot of us in that song, that's my story too. We're going to take a break here. We'll be back shortly with more music from San Quentin. New York. When I walk into San Quentin, I always pass the chapel, and I have to tell you, I hear all different kinds of music coming out of that place, not just church music. Yep, they got a choir up there, and there's a piano class. Oh, yeah, I've heard that. And you know my Mexican compadres up there getting mm -hmm. ready for Spanish Catholic services. Yep, every week a group of guys comes up and plays there. They have guitars, accordions, and... Drums and tambourines, and they're singing for the Lord. Amen. <laughs> Not too long ago, you and our producers, Pat and Yaya, went up there to record them. And we had a ball. Oh, I bet you did. One of the band members is a guy named Murataya Sanchez. But he goes by Jerry. And Jerry is nice on the guitar. I have been uh, playing guitar like uh, when I was 12, I am 61, so you can, you can deduct it. <laughs> Almost 40 or 50 years. We weren't totally familiar with all the different styles of Mexican music, but Jerry was nice enough to break it down for us. This is Ranchero. This is Corrido. Do you have any original music that you wrote? Do you create your own? Yes, I do. I only wrote one song, and they call, um, esta canción se llama Querido Amigo, Jesús Te Llama, y es una cumbia. Querido amigo, Jesús te llama, no hagas duro tu corazón. Ríndete Cristo, Él quiere tu alma y tendrás parte en la resurrección. Ríndete Cristo, Él quiere tu alma y tendrás parte en la resurrección. Por eso amigo, vente conmigo, adoraremos al mismo Dios. Él aseguró una vida eterna ya que somos parte de su creación. Él aseguró una vida eterna ya que somos parte de su creación. Ay, 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 es su alegría saber que aceptas. Ay, 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 es su amor el que nos protege. Ay, 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 esa es la paz que tú ya sientes. Ay, 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 querido amigo, ya te acepto. 
querido amigo, ya te acepto, querido amigo, ya te acepto. My spiritual name is Kosia Tosia, which means White Eagle, and that's in my Comanche language. White Eagle's been incarcerated since the 1970s, but when he first came to prison, he didn't have that name. Being that I grew up as an Air Force brat, I didn't, I didn't grow up with my culture. You know, I knew Grandma and Grandpa were Indians, and I knew I was Indian, but I looked like a white kid. When I come to prison, 18, 19-year-old kid, I said, man, what am I going to do with my life, you know? So what White Eagle did is what a lot of us do when we come to prison. He grew up. And during that time, a chance encounter with music led him to see his place in the world in a very different way. I was sitting in West Block in 1982, and it was... So a brother said, hey, you want some music to listen to? And he had a, a, an eight-track of Carlos Nakai, probably the most famous Native American flute player there is. And he started playing, and it just... I felt connected. It's like a voice told me, you're home, you know, you're home. Since then, White Eagle has become a part of the Native American community here. We've mentioned it in the past, but the first sweat lodge in the American prison started right here at San Quentin, and White Eagle was here for that. Today, you can see him coming from ceremony, wearing regalia and sacred beads. He even carved himself a flute of his very own, and it's all laced out. These are two uh, mountain eagle feathers. Um, these are my tribal colors, the Comanche colors. Orange for the creator, the green is for the earth. And then these little black ones are for the spirit. So just holding things like this, and I'll play this, and I connect it back to my ancestors. You know, because they say that we carry our DNA within us. You know? no, not, no matter how far off track we got, we can always have that chance to come back on track. We're now out here in the natural elements, Creator and Mother Earth. We recorded him outside on the yard, playing a song he wrote. The Eagle Spirit Song. So I give this song in a good way. You know we heard from Jossie earlier, but there's another big contributor to Ear Hustle, part of our sound design team, Antoine Williams. Antoine's been working on Ear Hustle from the very beginning, mm -hmm. and one of the things he does is sound collages like this. Antoine makes those composites from sounds he records in the prison. He also does music for our stories, and when he's not working for Ear Hustle, he's working on all sorts of projects. Like collaborating with other musicians at San Quentin. Which brings us to a song created by Antoine and Eric Abercrombie. But listeners might know him as Maserati E. We talked to them about their song, Float Away. So Float Away is a song about being um, in a place or a space where you have no control over anything and you want to be somewhere else, you want to do something better? Uh, being incarcerated, not even being incarcerated, like like bro said, you know, just situations where you just want to get the hell up out of there, mentally, physically, whatever it may be, just want to float away. Can I float away? See that? 
living in a day and age where the heart and mind is separate. Love will devastate you. And how much can I take? All I gotta say is, is can I float away? Can I float away? Uh. I look at life and all I got from it Failures with some accomplishments Growth after being buried It's nothing short of astonishing Struggles, I gotta bond with them People say we related It's probably because I come from a place Where people don't make it But I got a feeling I might be one in a million But I think it's groundbreaking No power tools for the drilling I'm that cracking your ceiling I'ma let the light in Why well, live like someone else When it's our own skin we die in Never lost my fight I'm just changing where I'm fighting And to get to the arena It takes being open-minded Freedom, I'ma find it Then put my name on it I know that I'm I'm the key, but I'ma break the chains on them, yeah. So the cycle can end, then I'ma donate my heart to be recycled again, yeah. It's crazy, I found life in the pen without having life in the pen. See, you gotta know the places I've been to understand the hair space that I'm in. Cause this cage I'm in is man made and it's made for men with space for every shade of skin. Where does grace begin? For those overcame by sin or lost souls never taken in. See, I can't pretend to be okay with the state we in. Will oppressors ever make amends? I highly doubt it. Now we living in a day and age where the heart and mind is separate. Love the devil stay true. Now how much can I take? All I gotta say is can I float away? Can I float away? Can I float away? Can I float away? Roddy, E, no lie. Tell I lose my mind a little more every day that passes by. The depression from years of oppression, I mask with smiles. I've been a slave confined to a cage since I was a child. I've escaped the years of rage and my brain running wild. I'm maturing and progressing, using my mind as a weapon, deflecting the devil's restless attempts to snatch me from heaven. I hope that my corrections and mistakes are adolescence. Certain curses turn to lessons, and the Lord give more blessings. I pray that I'm destined to succeed, and my family tree will never again have to worry about a thing when I'm finally free. I hope the load on my people's shoulders finally ease And make me sick to the point my stomach flip How living a bundle is the only way that I could send a couple dollars to my sis So my mama doesn't take a scholar to figure out It's a slim amount of options to solve these problems Life is like a school of piranhas It'll eat you alive, I got open eyes So those fish get fried with fries on the side I'm hungry, I'm just trying to get more plus more Cause in this world you either eat or get four plus four You do the math, I'm trying to pursue the path That'll renew the past and do it fast like the foot to a gas, so all I do is smash So anything get my way, trying to exceed is me, so the heat I be in my head. Cause we living in a day age where the heart and mind is separate. Love is devastate you. Now how much can I take? All I gotta say is can I float away? Newsflash! In just a few months, both Antoine and Maserati E are going to be floating away themselves. They're going home. Yes, go make that music on the outside. Now, while they might be leaving, many guys aren't. And that means most of their music isn't heard except inside. But every once in a while, the music escapes. This year, Ear Hustle had a very special opportunity to bring the voices of San Quentin to quite an unlikely venue. Oh, oh here we go. The performance is about to start. Hey. Can we take the No Recently, we collaborated with the folks at New York City's Metropolitan Museum of Art. The Met. So, this was the first time we did a collaboration like this. The Met commissioned a new work called Songs from the Spirit from New York City ballet member Silas Farley. And Silas was looking for new music to choreograph to. So they reached out to Ear Hustle about collaborating, and we invited them to come out to San Quentin and explain the project in person. We had about 30 guys come into the media lab, do you remember this, New York? Yep. And present their work, and out of that, they picked nine musicians to work with. Nine good ones. Yep. I was blind, even light, I was dry. 
We recorded all of the music inside, but by the night of the first performance, some of the musicians inside had been released from San Quentin, and they were able to come to the Met for the premiere. Beautiful. That was his song? Yeah, that was his song. Praise God. Congratulations. Praise God. That's it. That's all I can say. That's Calvin Johnson. He paroled from San Quentin, and I remember him very well. Pat, did you just see that? Like, yeah. Did you just experience that? Like, Cal was one of the guys with us, and I have to say, he was super excited to be there. Crazy awesome, bro. We just, like, made history. <laughs> like, come on, you know, it's like a, an artifact right there. Like, it's that's artifact. crazy. I can't believe that it's happening. I can't believe that I got out right in time to partake, and I can't believe that my parole officer, when we only got a 50-mile radius, allowed me to travel, like, almost 3,000 miles away. Can't believe that I hopped on a plane for the first time. I can't believe that I left California. God is good, very. Man, that's how I feel. <laughs> New York, it was amazing to be in a museum like the Met and to hear the music from inside San Quentin and watch Silas and all the dancers move through the space. It was beautiful and unexpected, and it almost made me cry. Almost. I would have cried, Naj. Yeah, I actually did cry. I had major boohoos in my eyes. I knew it. One of the musicians we worked with was Charlie Spencer. Ah, Charlie. Yeah, and although we really wanted to take him to New York, he couldn't go. When Charlie got out last year, he got himself a job, a J-O-B. Which was great, and of course we were really proud of him, but he couldn't take time off of work. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. But we wanted to play a song of his that was in the performance. Here's Charlie with his take on Eric Benet's Lamentation. I saw my brother, he did me wrong Had a gun up to my face, my money's gone I said, please don't be that way I'm just trying to make it through the day He said, you better not come round me before too long Love is crying, love is dying Love is crying love I saw my sister She did me wrong I had a smile upon my face But hers was so cold I said, sister, please don't go I'm just trying to say hello She said, you better not come round me before too long Love is crying, love is dying Love is crying love Love is crying, love is dying Love is crying love Can't you hear the cries from heaven up above? Looking down upon this world of dying love Hurry up and don't delay Before your chance to save the world is gone away I ask my father Lord, what's wrong? Through his tears I heard him say that I would be strong Cause the world I'm trying to save doesn't turn me away But they better come round my way before too long 
Love is dying. Love is crying. Love is crying. Love. Love is crying. Love is dying. Love is crying. Love. At the end of the night, Silas and his troupe danced to a song that David Jossie produced for our friend Maverick. And I'm sure listeners remember Maverick from our Boom Boom Room episode. Hundreds of people were gathered in a big circle around this beautiful fountain. Oh, it sounds amazing. Oh, oh, it was gorgeous. And it was so cool to be watching those dancers and know that the music was just echoing throughout the museum. All right, New York. I kind of hate to say this because it's such a cliche, but it really does seem like music brings people together. What do you think? Yeah, it's definitely true. So at San Quentin, we have these concerts on the yard, and it brings mm-hmm. everybody out. Yeah. You'll hear guys of different races playing together, rock, mm-hmm. soul, R&B, and And everyone is jazz. so happy when there's music out in the yard. I mean, I notice it whenever it happens. The vibe just completely changes. Yeah, they're literally bobbing their heads, dancing in their seats. It's just, it's just a magical moment. It's like a party on the yard. And while that's happening inside, I love the way the music is connecting outside of San Quentin, through the podcast, through collaborations with organizations like the Met and artists like Silas Farley. And it's another way that guys in here are getting heard. And their work is respected. I mean, they made the Met, Naj, the freaking Met. (laughs) That's right. And luckily, the whole event was filmed. So if you want to watch the video and see the performance, we'll have a link up on our website. And now we're going to play a song from San Quentin's very own rock band, Continuum. They're part of the San Quentin Music Program. They practice every week, and we recorded them up in the chapel. This is their song, Lucky Guy, written by band leader Daryl Ferris. Thanks to all the guys who shared their music with us. Terry Kitchen, Redbone, David Jossie, and De Niro G. Jerry and all the Mexican nationals up in the chapel. And shout out to Jamie Acosta and the White Chrisman who helped with the recording up there. And thank you, White Eagle, for playing that song for us out in the yard. Yeah, that was nice. Antoine Williams and Maserati E, thanks for playing Float Away. To Charlie Spencer and to all the guys that were featured at the Met, 
Congratulations, fellas. And to everyone involved with the Met collaboration, Silas Farley and his dance troupe, Lee Mort Homer, and Aaron Flaherty. Check out a list of all the musicians included in this episode on our website, EarHustleSQ.com. And you can hear a few of the songs that was featured in this episode. Oh, you're going to want to do that. And set your volume on 10. <laughs> and uh, we got Pat Masidi Miller here who's got something to say. Hey, I want to send a special shout out to everybody inside San Quentin making music that we couldn't fit in the episode. We appreciate you. Yes. Absolutely. And much, much gratitude to Rafael Casale for all the great work she does with the San Quentin Music Program. Keep the music playing, Rafi. Go, Rafi. And remember, dear listeners, we told you about a musical collaboration opportunity with Air Hustle at the top of the show. Get ready for the details. This, as you know, is our theme song. It was produced by Swedish phenom David Jossi. And over the years, it's gone through a few versions from the original one that was created by Antoine Williams. And now we want you to make a version of your own. Oh, yes. Remix! We're asking you listeners to take a crack at a remix, a rendition, a redux of our theme. Give it a twist and make it yours. Go to our website, EarHustleSQ.com, and download elements from our theme song to make a version of your own. Then send it to us, and you might just hear it played on a future episode. I can't wait to hear what you guys come up with. (laughs) Me too. I would love to hear it on a harp. Ear Hustle is produced on the inside by myself, Rasan New York Thomas, Nigel Poor, John Yaya Johnson. And special thanks to Pat Masidi Miller for recording the music and producing this episode. Our sound design team on the inside is Antoine Williams, David Jossi, and Rashid Zinneman. Our outside stories are produced by Erlon Woods and Bruce Wallace. Aaron Wade is our digital producer. Curtis Fox is our senior producer. And Julie Shapiro is our executive producer for Radiotopia. We want to thank Warden Ron Davis. And as you know, every episode has to be approved by this guy here. You know, I've went back and forth about this episode because I know there's a genre you guys missed. There is no country music in this episode. And it wasn't very long ago that I had a group of NASCAR folks that I met up with. And they knew that I was from San Quentin. They're like, dude, ear hustle. And so for those people who are in the country genre, I got to move forward. We got to move beyond this thing. I will say that Begrudgingly, I am Lieutenant Sam Robinson at San Quentin State Prison, the public information officer who approves this episode. This podcast was made possible with support from the Chan Zuckerberg Initiative, working to redesign the justice system by building power and opportunities for communities impacted by incarceration. We're going to have some of the songs featured on this episode up on our website, so be sure to check it out at EarHustleSQ.com. And be sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at EarHustleSQ. Ear Hustle is a proud member of Radiotopia from PRX, a collection of the best podcasts around. Hear more at Radiotopia.fm. I'm Rasan New York Thomas. And I'm Nigel Poor. Thanks for listening. On my two wheels and Chuck Taylor's walk. On my two wheels and Chuck Taylor's. I grabbed the mic and wrapped into a trance. Everybody hit the floor and start the two wheel dance. Uh-huh. Radio Topia. From PR.